Hey Hiker Buddies, Hiker Hunter here. We're back up in the winter at Dolly Sods, hiking to the top of uh, the uh, road here to the uh, Bear Rocks Trailhead. The whole plan was originally to drive to the trailhead, but change of plans. Our vehicle got stuck on the side of the road and uh, is in the process of getting towed out of a ditch. It's life, it happens. There's about three of us stuck there. Us, a uh, big uh, F-150 truck and another uh, smaller SUV. Uh, but uh, yeah, Jeep, Jeep couldn't get out. Just as uh, a little bit too warm here on the on the roads, a little too slick, not compact and frozen hard down like it was before. So unfortunately, a little too slippery to make our way up to the peak. So while the tow truck works this way through a few of the cars, we we're only about a mile hike to the top and what else are you gonna do while you wait for a truck to get a, a jeep to get towed is uh well might as well just hike past this small part here to the top and check out the views we did bring our snowshoes with us you can kind of see them right here but we'll be putting these on when we get to the top for a few minutes. I think, kind of wish I had some skis on me, some cross country skis to for the journey back down. Even though it was only a mile away to the, back to the Jeep in the ditch. Go walking there in snowshoes, really burning those calories as we may or make our way up to the top. And like I said, I'm pretty, snuggly in this warm attire and starting to warm up so I don't really want to break too much of a sweat as the temperatures start to plummet again as the sun crosses the uh, point in the sky right so we're almost to the top here we'll see what views we have strap our snowshoes on just for a few minutes or we have to head down and watch uh, Jeep get towed All right, so quick snowshoe tutorial. What we have right here are some Alpine uh, Ascent MSR snowshoes. So these have a little bit of spikes on the bottom, good for some ice for walking uphill. And they also have this little lever assist that kind of flips up and your heel can rest on right there as you're going climbing incline. So pretty handy if you're going to be climbing anything Alpinus. I don't think that, uh, we're gonna be doing much alpine today, but these are the snowshoes I have. If you uh, just wanted to get some run of the mill, uh, regular snowshoes, you could probably just get them a good, decent pair, metal, uh, non-spiked version, uh, even run of the mill BJ's brand or Costco brand for about 30 bucks for a pair. These will run you uh, a little over $100, maybe upwards to $200, really not keen on the current price and then they go upwards from there but uh, uh you know any pair will do with something like this this isn't the most deeply compact snow it's only you probably don't even need snowshoes for a lot of this um, we're not going to go too far off back country uh, on the trail here since we only have a few minutes but uh, we're gonna lace these up and give it a shot so you can see these lace up pretty quick you pretty much just uh, loop around the little straps, clip them in, slide them uh, in the little holsters there, little bendy holsters, just so they don't flop around. You got a little flippity flop binding in the back. And then that's it, and then you're just good to go. And then that's it. Snowshoes are really simple to use. All you gotta do is walk, pick your feet up, make sure that uh, they don't slide too far together. And you might hear them like scraping against one another you go too far but that is all it takes to be a snowshoer for a trail like this we don't even need our poles welcome back 
to Dolly Sods in the winter. Look at that magnificent landscape. Nothing but peacefulness. No one up here with the, the road conditions that we have. You can see some more stunning views of the top of Dolly Sods. See, someone's already been here. You can see the depth of the uh, the post holing, which is what it's called when your foot just goes right into the snow without any top cover. But with her little snowshoes on, we're uh, resting comfortably on the top for the most part. You can just see the effectiveness and the purpose of why you'd want to wear a snowshoe. It's about a eight foot depth of snow there. We are walking comfortably on the top for the most part. You're gonna sink about a couple inches, depending on how much weight you have on you. Only we're covering, uh, wearing a pack, covering about 20 pounds or so. Those beautiful snow drifts already. This pristineness of it. Won't touch it to save it for the next person. We're just gonna walk to this tree and then head back down to the Jeep. And that is the introduction to what it takes to snowshoe. All you gotta do is strap them on and start walking, hiker buddies. Not very long at all to do. And so now we're gonna start to descend down this road back to the Jeep. This will be part one of our snowshoeing series. Hopefully we'll get to explore more of Dolly Sods to, and videos to come. You'll just have to stay tuned. But for now, I'll see you guys next time, Hiker Buddies. <laughs>